All right, Algebra 1, Lesson 103. This is on more on rational expressions. Now, with this, uh, basically it's kind of like uh, adding and subtracting with um, coming up with common denominators. Okay, so for example, here's what they say. Solve. And then this is the equation. Y over 2 plus 1 fourth equals y over 6. Now, we're trying to come up with what y is, but before we do that, I'm going to write it um, vertically, which we've done something similar to this, but we didn't have an equals to, um, which is okay. So here we go. Just going and writing just like this, okay? Even though we normally don't have this answer, um, right now we do. So. We're going to come up with a common denominator on all three, and what goes in all of these is going to be 12. That's going to be our common denominator. Hopefully you see it as well. 6, 4, and 2 all both go all go into 12. So, all right, 6 times what? 6 times 2. So then we get y times 2, which is just 2y. Again, 4 to get to 12 is times 3, so we do times 3. 2 times 6 times 6, 6y. Okay, now once you get it to this place, basically what you're going to do is forget the 12s, okay, and what you're going to do is add or subtract, this is an add one, see my add, you're basically going to write your numerator, so 6y plus, what's the numerator on this one, 3, and then this line means equal, equals, and then 2y. So we just got rid of the 12, okay, this is the way you do these kind of problems. Now, you work it like any other problem, okay? We want to try to get the y's on one side and the numbers on the other, but right now the 6y and the 2y have numbers with them, so we're going to keep it together for right now. So 6y plus, and I'm going to move this 2y across the equal. So since it is a positive 2y, it's going to become a negative 2y equals, and then this plus 3, I'm going to move it across and become a negative 3. All right? 6y plus negative 2 will become 4y equals negative 3, okay? So this says 4 times y, and so since this is times 4, we're going to divide by 4. And y equals negative 3 fourths, and that's exactly the answer, okay? Now, if I were to take and put it back in there and all that, uh, which we're not going to do, okay? All right, let's try this next one. Here's what it says. Now these ones are a little bit harder, so make sure you're really paying attention. All right, this one is t minus 2 over t equals 14 over 3t um, minus 1 third. Now, because we have this minus this and then equals this, I'm going to write it vertically um, as it should say. So we can do this minus this equals this. Okay? 14 over 3t minus 1 over 3 equals, equals this. t minus 2t. Okay? See how we did that? All right. Now, on this one, our um, common denominator is going to be 3t because I have a 3t here, a 3, and then a t. So it's going to be best to do 3t. So t to get to 3t, what do I have to do? Times it by 3. So I have to times this by 3. So since I'm timesing all of this by 3, I have to do it like this. 3 times that. So 3t minus 2, since the 3 is multiplied by this. Okay? That's what that's all about. Okay? And then from 3 to 3t is times t, times t, 1t. And 3t, we don't have to do anything to. So, again, remember you drop the 3t once you get to this place. So we're just going to write the numerator. 14 minus 1t equals 3t minus 2. Now, I'm going to go on and answer this. Um, so, 3 times t is 3t. And then 3, sorry. 3 times t is 3t minus 3 times 2 is 6. So, there we go. Finish that out. 
All right, and now we bring our T's together and our numbers together. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and bring my T on this side. So I have 3T, and then I bring this negative 1T over, which becomes a positive 1T. Equals, so we're done with that. I'm going to move this minus 6 over here, which becomes plus 6. Okay, so we're done with that. And then I just bring the 14 down. 14 plus, I brought my 6 over. And then, okay, so that's 4t equals 20. And then that says 4 times what equals 20, so we know that t is 5. t is 5. All right? Do a few more. Now, each time, I don't want you to um, stop it because each time it gets a little bit harder. So, pay attention. Here we go. n over n plus 2 minus 3 fifths equals 0. Now on this one, you still have to do it just like normal. So n over n plus 2 minus 3 fifths equals, and I'm just going to make 0 over 0. Okay? Now, what do all three of these have in common? Well, it has to basically be 5n plus 2. So 5 times n plus 2. Let me make sure I did that right. 5 times n plus 2, yep. So that is our common denominator. I just took the 2 and put them together. Now, we'll actually do the problem in a little bit, but this is your denominator right now. So, 0 times what would equal this? Well, anything times 0 is 0, so it's not going to matter. We're going to put 0 there. Okay? And then 5 times what gave me 5n plus 2? Well, I multiply n plus 2, so n plus 2. So, I've got my minus here, so don't forget that. Minus 3n plus 2. Okay? And then n plus 2 times what equals that? So it's times 5 times 5. So 5n. Okay? Now once you get it to this level and all of these are the same, the next thing you do is you just forget those and you write down your numerator. 5n minus 3n plus 2 equals 0. Okay? Again, I'm going to perform this right now. So I'm going to make this plus negative. So negative 3, that's going to be negative 3n plus... Negative 3 times 2 would be negative 6. I'm just going to bring everything else down. Okay? Now, I'm going to try to get my n's together and bring my negative 6 over, which gives it a positive 6. And so 5n plus negative 3n is 2n, right? And so 2 times what equals 6? n is 3. All right? Hopefully we got that right. Yes, we did. Okay, so that's how you would do that one. Um, let me look at this next one and see if I should teach on it. I think it's pretty self-explanatory again, just like the last one. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's want to do um, 103.5 because this kind of introduces a little bit of a newer one. So I'm skipping 103.4. Uh, yeah, so here we go. And I'm going to go ahead and write it horizontally. 4 over x minus... 7 over x minus 2 equals 0. We'll put 0 over 0. Okay? Again, this is x, x minus 2. That is our common denominator that we're going to use because we have an x and then an x minus 2. Got it? All right. Now, so 0 times, remember, anything with 0 is going to be 0. So um, this is times x, so this is times x. So negative 7x, brought my negative over my minus. All right, and then x times well, that, so times that, whoops, minus. Okay, so that's 4x minus 2. All right, now the common denominator is the same, so I just bring my um, numerator. Okay, again, we do this, 4x minus 8 minus 7x equals 0. Okay, I'm going to want to make everything plus negatives. Now, I'm going to go on and take my 4x plus my negative 7x, and that gives me negative 3x when I add those together. But then I've still got this plus negative 8. I'm going to bring it over here for 8. Okay, negative 8 becomes a positive 8. Now, this says negative 3 times what equals 8. So, this is negative 3 times x. So, we're going to move this times negative 3 across the equal, so it becomes divided by negative 3. So, x equals... 8 over 
negative three or just negative eight thirds. That's how you would say it. Okay? Hopefully this is all making sense and that's what you would continue doing. And that is lesson 103.